Hello, just a few hours before the flight to Paris, so it's a time for a very quick review of my knives for a fix 2019. So let me start with this wooden box with the knife inside. There are tiny tools made of titanium, just a tiny, tiny rods. Sorry, let me adjust a little bit and there you can find a tiny pen style bamboo integral titanium handle Aribu L34 stainless steel blade some carved cracks spring is a uh, part of the body so however you hold it you hold also the fuse itself or locking mechanism so it's relatively soft slip joint but thanks to this it allows you to carry this uh, in some countries where it's not uh, easy to have a knife uh, with some locking systems so this is a slip joint but your hand is a secondary lock so there you can see a tiny hole for a tiny tool, titanium screws, that's the first one, the second knife will be folding dagger made of zirconium scales uh, with some carved out line this video will be full of fingerprints whole badge of knives for fix uh, I wish to be able to capture the structure maybe there you can slightly see what's going on it's a tiny uh, log bag gentleman folder with titanium uh, liners with uh, integrated spring and as I don't like uh, nail nicks or this classic uh, opening ways this knife is opened by this way just pre-open and maybe slightly unzoomed Everything is hand wrapped, a lot of tiny corners, angles, polished facets. My logos are inside, the previous one I used for a long time and there, which could be maybe really unable to see is my new logo. Maybe sign is the word I'm looking for. Okay, let's put away a little bit of fingerprints. There is a tiny log back spring. Oh, not spring, this is just a back of the log back, <laughs> which is supported by inert springs, which you probably won't be able to see, but they are cut from one piece of liners. Okay, there's a tiny dagger. Oh yeah, just uh, one small thing I would like to show you. As you can see there are the magnets, however you want to hold it uh, off the grain. It's unable, however you put it. When the grains are matched, the magnets hold it nicely. Okay, that's about the wooden case. There are some fancy cloth pouches. What's the next? If I am not sure, uh, I will keep this for a little bit later. So, what about this? <laughs> Zirconium, as you probably see, 
it's a slip joint with quite stiff spring because this blade is not so small as usually my slip joints are and what's really strange on this knife is the corkscrew on one titanium side where I used a really thick piece of uh, titanium milled out with uh, a few radiuses some cutouts for uh, inside spring corkscrew is also titanium and as the knife is nicely simple from this part this makes it <laughs> quite complicated also to make quite unusual screws in one line same as these tiny ones the polishing of these hollow milled outs was quite crazy RWL34 stainless steel blade hollow ground by 40 cm diameter contact wheel stop pin inside centered let's go for another one okay it's a very minimalistic thing which almost don't look like a knife and I really like it. There are some hidden screws as on a previous little dagger and I think I could name this dagger also but slightly more straight edge. Titanium uh, scales, RWL34 stainless steel blade, central groove going through the whole knife a lot of angles, facets again and this one is a liner lock with a ceramic detent ball there is also an usual opening style and it is uh, unfocused there, the nail nick here <laughs> just take it, throw away and the knife is opened now I will try to show you more than my fingerprints and maybe you find out there is something more on the butt of the knife and if you are really curious what is this it's simple maybe you saw it on a few of my previous knives there you pull slightly from the nail nick from the top on the right side is a fork or left side from this side if we are <laughs> talking about the dining setup and the other one is a eating knife this one is not sharpened but the edge is less than 0.50 millimeters I like this 
kind of blade. So, what's next? Another little dagger, but with black zirconium and also engraving and inlays by Veronica Tesaric. She made so good job here. Quite a lot of gold inside. But quite unable to capture all the beauty of this knife. It's 24 karat gold, zirconium scales, titanium liners, pretty similar setup as a dagger at the beginning. But this one is uh, with the hollow ground. Also hidden screws. Also the springs are uh, made out of all liners. And the signatures on the same side. Of the inner part of... Oops. Oh yeah, there you can slightly see this. Maybe also the previous one as I tried to show you. Nope, bad lightning for the innards. Doesn't matter. Forgive me these creepy videos, but a few of these knives uh, I wasn't able to capture with the camera itself, so this video will be everything I will have. Actually, this could be quite nice shot. The previous one, the log bag. And I would like to show you one crazy thing about the Veronica. She always puts so much energy to sign up herself. Watch this. Engraver Veronica. Can you see that? These letters are 